All right, one of my favorite like mythical creatures, especially for them to be involved in like a horror setting is going to be the mermaid or the siren. Like I love them as the monster. And by the way, I am looking for recommendations. So movies, books, TV shows, if it has a killer mermaid or killer siren as the villain monster, I want to read or watch it because the only thing in movies I can really think about is like Pirates of the Caribbean. And that's just, that's not the vibe I'm looking for. So obviously I have read Into the Drowning Deep. It is one of my favorites. This is a decently long book. Like when I first read it, I'm like, oh, this is pretty lengthy. I'm going to have to pace myself to get through. It might take a little while. I binged it in like a day and a half. Um, essentially you have a huge cast of characters, all of which are so well like distinct. I knew all their motives. I knew all their personalities. I knew everything about these characters. I could differentiate between them. They were so well character characterized. I loved them all. Some of them I hated, but I was meant to hate them. Um, they're all on this boat and they're gone out to look for a missing ship. No, I think the ship was found. A a group on this original ship had gone missing filming a mockumentary about mermaids and they have gone out to try to figure out what actually happened to this, to these people. Um, the setting or the setup is more, hey, we're going to do a documentary on these missing people, but really all the majority of them are like scientists. They're using this as an excuse, taking advantage of this filming opportunity to go out, collect water samples, do their own research in this very difficult to get to area for their own scientific reasons. And I was promised killer mermaids and I got killer mermaids and I loved it. I loved the use of sign language and deaf characters and how that played into the story. Uh, horror wise, there was one scene that was genuinely just airing on enough creepiness that oh, it was wonderful. Um, adding in this book also includes some like mythology and history and like pseudoscience kind of thing to make it just plausible enough for you to start to believe that uh, mermaids could have actually existed in the past. Like I love that addition so much. The science that they chose to include when interpret some way you're like, eh, we can't disprove the existence of mermaids. Oh, it was a delight. It was a delight. I think my only complaint is near the end we switch to like survival stealthy kind of horror whereas I want it like a little bit more action-packed but oh no I, no honest complaints I love this book so much so clearly I read the prequel to it not long ago and it's a little novella it's super short I adore it the characters still very um entertaining this is showing the the sh what happened to the actual crew on the ship that originally went missing and what happened to them and once again I was given killer mermaids or I was promised killer mermaids I got killer mermaids and I loved it um too short for me to really say anything about the plot but I'd recommend both of these in reading order you really can do either one go in and get a little bit more development more story with the full-length novel or just a little taste with the prequel. It doesn't really matter which one you read in what order. Next, I read The Deep. Um, I know this isn't horror, it's more fantasy, but with horrific subject matter, just not presented as a horror novel. Um, essentially, the descendants of slaves who were pregnant at the time and thrown into the water and gave birth, developed or transformed into these different type of creatures. There is a lot of conversations involving your history, generational trauma, what it, the importance of knowing one's history and one's past, but also the damage that can cause to you and the hurt it can cause. There's like a utopia setting where no one knows their history and what that does to them. And in turn, only one person can hold the memories of all these generations and generations of trauma and what that does to them. And then how that's all incorporated into the story. There's talk of running away and family and just community and the importance of community, but how sometimes that can also bring you trauma. I don't, it's a very short, I don't want to give too much away of the actual plot, just kind of the broader themes that are surrounding these characters. It is absolutely beautiful. It is more atmospheric and conceptual than actually plot heavy. The plot is very simple and usually that's the exact opposite of my preference. I normally prefer a very character or plot driven book. Ideas and conceptions I think are nice to, are beneficial and wonderful to have but when they're the focus of the story 
I feel I'm not entertained in reading it, so I don't get as much out of said uh, concepts. Not in this case. This was wonderful. Absolutely adored it. All right, the next book I read was The Salt Grows Heavy. Uh, I bought it because, look, at, it's like a little tiny thing. Beautiful cover. Love the vibes of it. Thought it'd be good. How come every time I buy a book full price, it's one I hate? Like, what? what is with that? Um, this is the longest, like, 70-odd pages or 100-odd pages that I have ever read in my life. Like, I, so much focus was put in, put on every single word chosen. So the writing is probably highly elevated, but bordering on purple prose. So, so much detail was put into, I don't know, using the thesaurus and describing everything very clinically and precise that they forgot to establish character and plot. Like I, not my writing style, not my vibe. So essentially this story is uh, a mermaid and a plague doctor in a post-apocalyptic world comes across a strange village and it's a very, very short book. So I'm not going to give any more detail than that. It started off with such premise. Like think, what if the little mermaid married the prince, and then was subjected to, oh, the patriarchal society and not being allowed to have her own voice and the importance of one's own voice and revenge and turning into, un unleashing a monster, being the mother of monsters and destroying the kingdom. And then you incorporate little vibes of like Frankenstein and Peter Pan and cults and uh, manipulation and what it means to be alive and everything like that. Those are the vibes that are hinted at. I just wish they were explored. Like the vague little hints of backstory for the plague doctor and the mermaid was so in interesting. And I, I wish anything was done with it instead of just like hinting at these cool ideas. And instead it's just like, let me describe the bone that was broken and what an eyeball tasted like rather than tell me how they got into this situation, why they're in the situation, what emotions are being felt, or anything like that. Like the, the, the who, who these characters are, the what they're planning and what they're doing, and the why they're doing it was not explored. It was just situation is happening, cut to the next part of this situation, cut to the next one, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't feel like there's a cohesive plot. It's just a lot. It's too much bordering on purple prose. The the writing was the focus, not the cast, not the characters, not not the plot. And that's all I'm going to say there. Uh, finally, we're going to go with Lure. Uh, this one had more potential. It kind of fell a little flat to me, but I did enjoy it for the majority. It's hard to describe my relationship with this. So essentially we're on a small fishing community, which is my preference for a uh, setting like this. I am from a very small fishing community. And um, if the, the main character, the protagonist that we're following wasn't unbelievably stupid, this would have been a really good book for me, my personal taste. But my, uh, just the stupidest character. Like, oh, I need to destroy this piece of evidence for the sake of the person I care about. Let me just toss it in the water. Because the current is not going to bring that back. Obviously not. Um, yeah, no, that. And then let's trust this person. Or let's do what this person says. Or let me act this way. Um, just selfish and stupid. That's all I got. And I feel he was not meant to be that. I don't think I was meant to think that of him. So a mermaid shows up on uh, the shore one day and the, the people of the community hunt it down and bad things happen from there. Once again, a very short book. Um, could have also done without the older guy coming up to some teenage girl's father and be like, hey, my wife just died and I'm an important community member. So I'm going to take your daughter and I'm going to marry her now and you can't do anything about it because that's just the way this world in this community works. Could have done without that as well. But on top of that, the writing felt very simplistic to me and I am not someone who cares about really the prose very often. I prefer a straightforward, simple writing style. Um, like, Brandon Sanderson versus um, Patrick Rothfuss. Like I, I prefer like Brandon, Stan Brandon Sanderson's kind of writing style. Just not, it's a different style. You, you know what I mean. Um, this almost felt too simplistic for me. Like no 
descriptions really like the environment was not the atmosphere was not described to me emotions like i don't know metaphor simile something give me something other than this happened this happened this happened this happened this happened not a hundred percent my personal taste but it did kind of give me a feel of like small town i almost felt like there was that old timey filter put over everything that the writing style might have been meant to convey as well uh, just to keep this from sounding negative because i'm not negative about this book uh the ending without going into spoilers was like definitely a good for fans of like lovecraftian horror like we definitely edged into that kind of vibe so i do recommend this book it's not my favorite it didn't like wow me or anything but it it was good so those are the uh books that i found that centered around mermaids uh most were a hit some a little lackluster then there was that that little novella that i bought yeah mm. um so if you have any recommendations i am looking for horror mermaids like i i would love to read more horror mermaids all right i will talk to you later